Father, we give you praise in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the beauty of another day that you have given to us again. We couldn't have paid for it. You gave it to us. And as we go into your word this morning, let the world needed for our transformation, for our beauty, for our enlargement, for our blessings, let our world come our way today. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Welcome to another wonderful time with God on glorious morning shower. It's a new day and it is going to be your own day. The first day of the week. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that the word coming your way today will make your day end gloriously in Jesus' name. The word for your shower today is become a solution. God wants us to become a solution to the problem of the world. You will know and will agree with me that the world is in trouble. And if you look very well, in your environment, there is something that God wants you to do. You are living in a community that don't have a good school, and you see children roaming around the street. God is talking to you to start a school there. You see, most of these things is not just because you have the money, because you have the money or because you want to make money. We have a vision also to run schools in some villages, not because we are looking for money, but because we want to become a solution to a certain problem. And if you can solve that problem from your community and you have done it well, God can as well promote you to a bigger stage. Everyone solving a problem on the world stage today solve a minor or a small problem sometime in their community. And that is what God is telling you. You know, they always start from your Jerusalem. And when he released the disciples on that mission, he told them to begin from Jerusalem. So, God is talking to you on glorious morning shower today that you are a solution. Let not the devil tell you that you are a body. You that you think you don't have anything. God is telling you, you are a solution to somebody's problem somewhere. You are a solution to the world problem. And you can never get to the world stage until you begin from the community stage. That is the work God is bringing your way today, this morning. You are in a place like as we, we did one time many years ago, about 15 years ago, when we came to a community and we discovered that in the whole of that community there was no cyber cafe. They called that community Aku. Aku. There was no cyber cafe anywhere. I remember when we were trying to install our equipment to start the cafe, an elderly woman, very old, came in. And asked, said, my son, are you sure this is going to work? He mentioned somebody who tried before and he didn't succeed. And she told me, she said, if this works, then it's going to be for me alone. And I said, mommy, why? She said, I go every evening to Lube and I transport there to communicate with my son abroad. And that was when internet was not on our phone. That was when we were using Nokia phone, or those phone that does not do internet then. That was when GSM first came to Nigeria. And that statement from that woman became a propelling force to us. Myself and Pastor Unduka, we worked tired yesterday. We went to DOPC, they call direct on PC, 
and they gave us a very strong equipment with big dish and from the one that we launched the system till after four or five years that we shot it down we didn't break that one day and that woman kept coming there kept coming in there to browse kept coming in there people were coming we started giving training to others so you see we were not just there to make money we were there solving a solution solving a problem we were a solution to a problem and that's exactly what god is telling us on glorious morning shower today the scripture for that is a very simple scripture that we all know but god wants to use that scripture to encourage you today look around your environment are you in an estate and everybody move out to look for provision what god, what god is telling you to start a provision store there in solving that problem, you are going to earn a living. And God is going to bless you. God is going to reward you by prospering that business. Now, the book of Matthew chapter 5 from verse 13 to 20 says, Ye are the salt of the world, that ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men. He said, Ye also are the light of the world. A city upon the hill cannot be hidden. Beloved, if we say we are the salt of the world, it's not just men that we are all preacher. Don't misunderstand that from where we're taught in those days from Sunday school. It is bigger than that. That scripture is heavier than that. It's telling you, Anywhere you find yourself, make sure you are a solution there. Make sure you are a solution. You may be looking as if you are a body, but God is changing you to become a solution to somebody's problem, to some people's problem, to a community problem, and eventually to the world problem. There is somebody hearing me on Glorious Morning Shower that will profess solution to Nigeria economy. Somebody hearing me now that we prefer solution to corruption in the world and in Nigeria. There is somebody hearing me now that is going to be a solution to the security problem in the mighty name of Jesus. May you not miss it in Jesus' name. And my prayer for you this morning is that may the Lord open your eyes to begin to identify that area that he wants you to be a solution. May the Lord open your eyes. And as you identify it, May the Lord give you the ability to step out into doing it. And may the Lord bless you. May the Lord prosper you as you obey in Jesus' name. It's a new day for you and it's going to end gloriously. The Lord bless you on glorious morning shower. Praise the Lord. Amen.